Hello everyone. Today we will see direct form structures for IIR systems. The learning outcome. At the end of this session, student will be able to draw the direct form 1 and direct form 2 realization structures for a given IIR system. Now we will see direct form realization structures for IR systems. An LTA system is represented by a constant coefficient difference equation by y of n is equal to minus summation k equal to 1 to n a k y of n minus k plus summation k equal to 0 to m b k x of n minus k. So, this is a generalized constant coefficient difference equation representing an LTI system. <coughs> now, for implementation of this particular structure, it needs the delayed values of input, output and intermediate results. So, for requirement of this delay elements need storage and also we need multipliers for multiplying these coefficients and adders. So, the basic building blocks required are 1 a delay as maybe if you are applying x n as an input to a delay represented by this gives output x of n minus 1. Similarly, you need a adder which has two inputs maybe x 1 n and x 2 n gives us the output x 1 n plus x 2 n and the third block required is a multiplier which is maybe x n we are representing this as multiplication by a which gives you a into x1 x of n. So, we need a delay for as a storage elements then adders and multiplier. Now, consider this constant coefficient difference equation. If you take a z transform of this, we get y of z equal to summation k equal to 1 to n a k z raise to minus k y of z plus summation k equal to 0 to m b k z raise to minus k x of z. So, by taking this term of y z on the left hand side and taking a ratio of y z by x z, we get y of z divided by x of z is equal to summation k equal to 0 to m b k z raise to minus k divided by 1 plus summation k equal to 1 to n a k z raise to minus k. So, this is known as the transfer function for an IR system. Now, this transfer function h of z can be represented as h 1 z into h 2 z as where h 1 z is equal to summation k equal to 0 to m b k z raise to minus k into 1 upon 1 plus summation k equal to 1 to n a k z raise to minus k. So, now this particular system is h 1 z, this system is h 2 z. So, it means we are now representing this h of z as a multiplication of 
two systems. Whereas the first system is the all zero system. Whereas in the second system is a all pole system. So for realization of H of Z, we now have a cascade of H1Z and H2Z. Now I will draw the structure for H1Z and H2. So the direct form one structure. Now here H1Z is equal to summation k equal to 0 to m bkz is to minus k. So this we can achieve as input x of n this z raised to minus 1 gives a delay here x of n minus 1 multiplied by b1 here multiplied by b0 z raised to minus 1 multiplied by b2 and so on finally z raised to minus 1 b m adding all these together we get So this is the system 1. Basically, we can verify this as x of n into b0. So if you consider this particular difference equation, so it is b0 into x of n plus b1 into x of n minus 1 plus b2 into x of n minus 2 and so on. If you are adding, we will get this part out. So that is the system or all 0 system. Now, for connecting it in cascade with H2Z, consider this is Y of N. So, with this delay, it gives us Y of N minus 1. So, from this equation, when K equal to 1, it is A1 Y of N minus 1, K equal to 2, it is A2 Y of N minus 2 and so on. So y of n minus 1 into a1 minus a1 z is 2 minus 2 that is a delay further delay by 1 y of n minus 2 minus a2 so this way if you go on adding z is 2 minus 1 minus a n so adding all these together with this multiplied by 1 we get y of n. So this is the second system H2Z. So this realization is known as the direct form 1 realization. If we consider the complexity of the structure so on this side we have m number of storage elements here we have n number of storage elements and so total memory requirement is m plus n so the total memory requirement is m plus n whereas the total number of coefficients are m number of coefficients on this side and a1 to a n n number of coefficients on this side so m plus n plus 1 multipliers are required for these coefficients. Now, as this is represented by a cascade connection of the two, it is possible to interchange the order of the two systems. And so, by changing this order and connecting H2Z first and H1Z after that, we get another structure known as direct form 2 structure. So now we are interchanging the order. So z is to minus one minus a one minus a two z is to minus one 
minus a n addition of all so this is h to z whereas z is to minus 1 there is to minus 1 addition of all here this gives us h1z but now if you look at this intermediate value if I am representing as a Wn, here we have W of n minus 1, here also we have W of n minus 1. So we can minimize one of the delay. So the reduced structure which we get is Z raised to minus 1 minus A1, B1, B0, B0. maybe we have a n so this is x of n this is y of n so in this case the total number of storage elements can be reduced and it will be maximum of m n out of which whatever is maximum will be the total number of requirement of memory locations and this form of structure is known as direct form two structure here this is with a reduced complexity compared with direct form one structure so this is how the given IR system we can represent by direct form one structure and direct form structure. Thank you.